What's up guys and welcome to another video. In this video you guys are going to be getting to know me a tiny bit better and I'm going to be answering some questions from Instagram which I got the other day. So that's going to be quite interesting. There's a few good ones in here. What's up guys and welcome inside. Um, I had to take the Q&A inside because it started raining and I was kind of freezing my ass off. So we're going to do the introduction and the Q&A in here in my indoor forest I think you could call it. So, for the introduction, and I know I forgot to say my name in the last video, so for those of you who do not follow me on Instagram, my name is Marcus. Very nice to meet you. I'm 25, I currently live in Denmark, um, I work as a kindergarten substitute teacher um, on the weekdays, and uh, on the weekends I work as an online coach. Um, yeah, and uh, I do speak a few different languages, I speak uh, Danish. English, Norwegian, and Swedish, like, kind of. Because um, I used to live in Norway for about 10 years, so Norwegian and Swedish are pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, but, but <laughs> you will not be hearing me speaking uh, Norwegian or Swedish on this channel. Yeah, probably. Sometime you might, maybe. Not making any promises. So, that's it for the boring part. Um, who I am and what I do. So let's do the uh, the Q and A because uh, I got a lot of really good questions from you guys, and um, we're gonna start with uh, Martha Gypsy Kate. Um, she asks, "What were your reasons for changing to a vegan lifestyle?" Um, I'm gonna do that in a separate video. I hope that's okay, Martha, because I kind of want to like tell everyone why I went vegan and how I went vegan in a different video. So I'm sorry. But I will answer your other questions. You also asked, what's your favorite muscle group to work? What's your favorite exercise? Um, that's a tough one, because I like working out my entire body. Um, but if I had to choose, I'd probably pick back. Um, I really like deadlifting and rowing, and uh, oh, of course the clean jerk, because there is a pull in that. Um, so probably back, but my favorite exercise is without a doubt the clean jerk, because it's got several elements. It's got a um, deadlift, a kind of front squat, and a clean, and of course the uh, push press version, but you kind of like split your legs, um, so I really like that one because it's challenging, and it's a lot of fun, and of course it's nothing cooler than tossing a big ass barbell over your head. Alright, so John MJ OCR, what's up John, and welcome to YouTube as well. Uh, your view on oils, pros and cons, do you use any, and if so, which and why? Um, I do use oils on occasion. I do fry my stuff in it, but I do not consume it in salads and other meals, because oils, doesn't matter which kind, they're all bad for you, unfortunately. Um, so that's a shame, but I do, I do use them on occasion. But I don't recommend you do it all the time, John, because uh, they do lead to heart disease in the end, unfortunately. So. Keep your oils to a minimum, if you have to use them. Mm. Oh yeah. Asheo Vegan Food asks, what kind of training have you done to get where you're at now? Uh, mainly bodybuilding. I've been bodybuilding for about, or resistance training, I guess what you call it. I've been doing it for about nine years, so uh, pretty serious. I haven't really taken any breaks. So bodybuilding for nine years, but, but for the past year, I've been focusing a lot on um, being a bit more functional, so I've been doing some uh, Olympic lifting and some CrossFit and some calisthenics, which I'm having a blast doing actually. I've, I've gotten a bit stale, tired of my training, but for the past year doing this, these new stuff, um, I'm really starting to love training again. So, But the uh, tiny bit of size that I have mainly came from bodybuilding. Yeah, um, so. Uh, what else do we have? Ooh, Max Stud Baker. <laughs> do you count calories and macros? And if so, do you find that eating a plant-based diet makes tracking easier or harder? And if not, do you feel that eating plant-based gives you more leeway? Um, pretty much the same for me. Um, I've been tracking macros for the past mm, seven years, so it doesn't really matter if I have to track meat or vegetables, it's the same, um, it's fairly easy. The only thing you have to do really is just make sure you get one to one 
0.6 grams of uh, protein per kilo of body weight and you'll be just fine. So I do track my protein, but I do not track my carbs or my fats. I eat fairly low, low fat, so I mainly eat a bunch of like my protein and then I eat a bunch of carbs because carbs are great. We all love carbs. Um, <coughs> okay. And uh, yeah, so uh, that's how I do it pretty much. But I don't really track my, uh, my macros at the moment, unfortunately. I don't recommend you do it all the time either because it kind of makes you a bit like have to eat a certain way. So uh, just be flexible, okay? Um, doo -doo -doo. Oh, and uh, yeah, also on protein, um, Mindful Vegan Joy asks, and how much protein do women need a day? Because um, she can't seem to find a straight answer. The exact same as men, okay? Training and nutrition is the same for men and women. There's no difference. And if anyone tries to tell you otherwise, they're full of shit. It's because they don't know basic uh, training and nutrition. It's kind of embarrassing. So don't listen to anyone who says there's a difference because there's not. Oh, uh, Plant Powered Watts. He asks, what's your favorite Justin Bieber song? Bro. Now I know you said you like, you like the uh, Love Yourself, but the best Justin Bieber song ever? It's Baby, without a doubt. Like, baby, 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 ooh. Who doesn't love Tiny Bieber? I mean, He's small, he sings great, and he's a ladies man, I guess. Um, yeah, so uh, pretty much Baby, or I also like Fall, um, which is an old song, not very known, I guess, but yeah, kind of a Justin Bieber fanboy, I guess. But I bet you are too, man. Bet you are too. Yeah, and uh, Madeline Brooks23 asks, what's your favorite holiday? Um, Favorite movies, TV shows, do you have a bucket list? If yes, what's on it? My favorite holiday, I love skiing. So probably an active holiday that includes skiing, hiking, and just, uh, you know, enjoying nature. Because I lived in Norway for 10 years, so just going on snowboard, you know, doing like flips and stuff, is kind of a part of my childhood. So I really love snowboarding. So I'd have to say a, a skiing trip would probably be my favorite. Um, I'm not really big on lying on the pool, well, by the pool, I guess, what you call it. Um, you know, just getting tanned, wasted, of drinks. That's not really my style. But if you like that, good for you. Um, yeah, favorite movies and TV shows. Um, probably The Green Mile is my favorite movie. I really like that one, it's really good. Um, I do like Lord of the Rings and Star Wars because I'm kind of a nerd, I guess. Um, and TV shows? Game of Thrones. I mean, who doesn't like Game of Thrones? What's wrong with you if you don't like Game of Thrones? Fantastic. And also, I like How I Met Your Mother as well. That's really fun. Um, do you have a bucket list? If yes, what is on it? Um, my bucket list is pretty much just traveling the world. I want to see everything that the world has to offer. Um, I want to see different cultures, I want to experience different people. Um, just want to create relationships that last as well. I want everything that the world has to offer. You know, I want a taste of everything, basically. Don't want to just stay the same place and not really experience a bunch of things. So, that's what I want to do. I really want to travel, I love traveling. And Shea Fit UK asks, what are some great macro-friendly vegan meals for a beginner who's trying to lose some belly fat and build lean muscle? All right, um, first of all, you can't do both. You can't both lose belly fat and build muscle. Unless you're a beginner, then you can, or unless you're on steroids, which I assume you're not. So, friendly macro meals. Ooh, basically just any stir fry, like tofu, rice, vegetables, seitan, rice, vegetables, potatoes, oatmeal, oh, the list goes on, it's a fairly long one. But if you stick around on this channel, you, you will get to see a bunch of those meals because I will be cooking all of them. So stay, stick around for that, maybe you'll learn some, all right? All right guys, so that's it for the Q&A. Thank you so much for leaving your, your questions. I had, a, had fun answer, answering them and hopefully we can do more of these. If you like them, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below and um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button 
and I will see you guys very soon in the next video, which will come in the next week. I might make a vlog. So, see you guys then. Bye-bye.